Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from uh, Pistachio Day with UC Cooperative Extension and Visalia. I'm here with Elizabeth Fitchner. She has given a great presentation kind of on establishing pistachio orchards. We have record plantings just going into the ground. A lot of people maybe that haven't ever grown pistachios that are planting them. And um, wanted to talk specifically about the difference between, you know, when they're selecting what varieties and, you know, if they're going to do a clone or a seedling. What's the difference? Help sort out some of the, the confusion here. Sure. Well, currently there's two main genotypes of uh, pistachio rootstocks that are being planted. Um, one is the UCB1, and that's available as both a seedling and a clone. And the other is platinum, and that is available as a clone. Uh, there is a third um, rootstock called PG1. It's only a seedling, and that one is um, has a single parent. It's a Pistacia integrima, and that one um, basically is one that saved the pistachio industry back in the 1970s because it's resistant to verticillium, but it doesn't have the salinity tolerance and the cold tolerance that we see with these interspecies hybrid rootstocks such as UCB1 and platinum that have Atlantica, Pistacia Atlantica in the parentage. So, you know, when they're going to be, you know, figuring out what they're, what they're looking for in their selection, you know, is there, is there a difference in how they should take care of these, uh, you know, with seedling versus the clone and what to expect from them? Well, the main difference between the seedlings and the clone is that seedlings are uh, the result of sexual reproduction, which means that within a whole batch of seeds, UCB1 seeds, you're going to have variability in the population of the trees. And so when you look at an orchard that's on a seedling UCB1 rootstock, you'll see some variability in tree size and vigor, and that's normal. And in fact, UCB1 is kind of known to be a somewhat unstable um, interspecies hybrid. We have quite a lot of variability in that seedling population. If you go with a clone, whether it be UCB1 or platinum, you can expect more uniformity in the tree size. And that's because these are propagated vegetatively and in tissue culture. So the tissue culture um, system, the, at, the advantage of that is that you can grow and reproduce many, many plants over time. That's how the nursery industry has managed to support our growing pistachio industry. Um, the other benefit with them is you get a homogeneity of the, of the stand because all of the trees should be identical genetically because right. they're clones. So there's no sexual reproduction. The thing that's important to remember is all of those clones started as a seedling. They started as a cross and individual nurseries would select out the um, seedlings from the seedling population that just perform the best over time. And then they'll clone that individual and then sell it as a, let's say, a proprietary clone from their nursery or their lab. And that's why we have so many different UCB1 clones out there. And we don't know how closely related they are to each other, but they all do have the same parents and they're all UCB1 clones. Yeah, and are there any concerns for, you know, either, either way to go, you know, whether you go with a seedling or a clone? Well, within a seedling population, since there's variability, you can have variability of um, just resistance to individual threats, whether it's nematode pressure or pathogen pressure. So not all of your trees are going to respond the same. Uh, with a clone, if you do have a pathogen pressure, they're all going to respond similarly. Yeah. And so they might be similarly resistant or similarly susceptible. And so you can end up with some um, unique situations due to that. Um, another thing to consider is that platinum is a clone, and it actually has the same parents as UCB1, which is kind of interesting. It's just that the parents are the opposite. It's the opposite male and female parent. And the seedling population that gave rise to that, P that um, platinum clone, uh, some of those individuals were ver verticillium 
susceptible and just were no good. And the others were really good. So what the nursery did was select the really good ones and propagate them in tissue culture, generating that platinum cl clone, which is a vigorous uh, verticillium resistant clonal rootstock. Great. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com. Thank you.